Welcome back to this new video of TechPress. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get started and adding a stuff element, uh, an actual menu using Elementor. So let's get started. The very first thing you want to do, of course, is to understand menus. So the menus are really essential, guys, for website navigation, helping visitors find what they actually need quickly. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and customize a menu, but it would be using Elementor. So to use Elementor, you might want to get started using Elementor Pro. So Elementor Pro gives you access to a lot of elements. So you want to make sure, of course, that you have an actual core builder free boson. So you want to make sure, of course, that you have access to it. So once you have access directly here into Elementor, what you want to do now is to go directly into your dashboard. Once you have access directly here into Elementor, it is time now to install it or let's say access the menu and create a menu into WordPress. So first of all, we need to add a menu using WordPress. To add our very first menu, we want to go directly into our dashboard of WordPress. Inside the dashboard, let's focus the left part, scroll a little bit down and look out for appearance. Into appearance, I'm going to click on it. And here I want to look out for themes. All right, so let's go here once again. Let's go into appearance and instead of themes, let's go directly here into menus actually, because now this has not been updated. Inside here, what we can do is to look out for managed locations and look out for use new menu. You can do this directly here into edit menus if you wanted to. Now, in this case, I'm gonna go for the menu name and here this is the part where you want to create a new menu. So other pages, the posts or the custom links you want to include directly here into the menu. So since this one is for Elementor, let's go for Elementor. Uh, menu. There we go. So I'm going to hit into create my menu. And now I can start adding uh, structures directly here into my menu. For example, I can add my account, I can add Elementors, I can add pages, or I can go here into view all. I have the home section, I have the shopping, and add directly here into the menu. So you can start by adding elements and drag and drop stuff to as you are checking this out. So let's say, for example, you can add much more stuff, for example, this elementary stuff. So this elementary should be into the upper side like this. There we go. And lastly, I think that I needed to add something else, for example, the car. So I add this to the page and I've moved car to the last element. Now I'm going to go for the save menu. There we go. Now to assign the menu to a specific location, such as the primary menu or the halo menu, depending on the theme, this will make the menu available for use in Elementor. So you can scroll a little bit down and you can see they have the auto ads pages and the display location. So inside here, we have now the selected menu to edit, which in this case is the Elementor menu. Now I have these elements where I can enable the uncategorized, in this case, since I have an actual store. And now I'm going to add the menu directly into my header using the Elementor. So if I focus into the left part that says templates, to enter template, let's go directly into the theme builder. So I wanted to make sure that first of all, I save this menu. And then we can just go back directly into the, once again, templates and let's go for a theme builder. Inside theme builder, you want to make sure that you're using the Elementor editor. Otherwise, this just won't work. Now that we are inside the theme builder, what I wanted to do is to add the menu. So into the Elementor editor, we wanted to find the navigation menu. So let's say, for example, that I hoped to find one header. So I customize my header. So I select it and I go for the plus button. Inside here, what I wanted to do is to navigate directly into the menu widget, into the widget panel and drag it directly into the header section. You can locate the header directly into the left part once the Elementor has not been uh, successfully added to that. So in this case, let's say, for example, that I add this element. I go for insert. And here I look out for my menu. So menu, WordPress menu, and I add it to element uh, automatically there. So make sure that here into the WordPress, you choose the element menu who just created them. So as you can see, now it's appearing here into the upper side and it doesn't look that bad. Now you can change the layout as a drop down. You can do this vertical, horizontal, whatever. In this case, I'm going to focus with the drop down and try to change this or move this, let's say, into the hover to so align to the left part and click on it to see how it actually looks. So as you can see, it doesn't look that bad. So the Elementor styling options to match the menu with your website design, we can adjust the colors, we can uh, adjust the font, the background, the borders, everything to make ways of the looking. 
So for more dynamic menu, you can consider adding advanced features like drop downs, icons, hover elements, and so much more. So guys, before publishing the preview, you just wanted to go directly here into the save the options and view the page so you can see how it's actually going to be looking your menu before you post it inside your WordPress. So guys, with that being said, I can now to the very end of the video. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools of how we can add more and more stuff using the Elementor tools. Thank you once again for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, with all of that being said, we can see you to a brand new section of TechQuest. See you next time.